In this week's episode, we say goodbye to animal rights activists and Simpsons creator Sam Simon, great news for the world's pandas, we bust this week's wildlife myths, and Duke University welcomes a famous new lemur. Starting in the States where Simpsons co-creator Sam Simon has died after a long battle with cancer. Simon became known throughout Hollywood for his philanthropy and animal rights activism. As a final noble gesture, Simon donated his fortune, an estimated $100 million to various charities, many of which support wildlife conservation and stray animals. A coyote in rural New York found its own cuddly toy this week. A local photographer managed to capture the animal on camera as it made off with her dog's toy, but not before it got the chance to play with it. Heading to Brazil in the discovery of a new species of monkey with one serious hipster beard. The newly named Milton's TT monkey is called the fire-tailed Zogzog by locals. In exciting conservation news this week, lynxes could be reintroduced to the wild after a 13-year absence. If approved, the ambitious plan by the Lynx UK Trust could see up to 18 of the endangered cats released onto private estates in the English countryside. A new report shows pandas in China are making a comeback. The country's National Giant Panda Survey shows a 16% increase in the panda population since 2003. A mere 1,864 giant pandas are living in China's wild forests. We can only hope the trend continues. Time for us to counter some myths that took the web by storm this week. First off, the strange tube in this video was thought to be a pyrosome, a bizarre colony of tiny animals called zoids. But it's actually something even cooler. Triangle squid egg case. Every single dot you see in the tube is a soon-to-be baby squid. And you might have seen this photo of an eastern brown snake stealing a sausage in Australia. We've checked in with the experts and our best guess, the barbecue bandit photo is fake. We're wrapping up with one famous baby lemur. Isabel is a rare coxrail safarca, one of many lemurs endangered on their native Madagascar, but she's also granddaughter to Jovian, better known by his television name, Zubumafu. Do we miss any good stories this week? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to check out our website.